Today, I'm gonna try using copper rivets for the first time. Get rid of these double cap pieces of shit. So I much rather prefer stitching over using rivets, but there are a few applications where I still use the rivets, uh, mainly handles on bags. I just think they look better and it's uh, like a nice contrast between stitching and using a rivet. Until this point though, I've been using these double cap rivets. I got this off of Amazon, which might be the problem. But if you're unfamiliar with these things, I'll show you how they work. So essentially you have one piece with a post here. You have another piece that's just a cap. The cap goes on top of the post and then there's a little anvil thing. You hammer it down and this post actually mushrooms out inside of the cap and it's supposed to hold it all together nicely. Um, this, for the most part, hasn't been my experience. And again, it could be that I'm using the uh, crappy Amazon ones, but I found a lot of these have failed on me. Most of them were fine, but I would just rather have a more foolproof way of riveting things. So what I did is I picked up a bag of copper rivets from Tandy and I was going to learn how to use these things properly and then show you guys a video down the line of how to do it. But I'm going to switch things up and I'm just going to show you my first time ever attempting these things and if it goes well then they're obviously pretty easy to use and you can get rid of your stupid double cap rivets. If you've had a good experience with them and you do like them then keep them. I'm just fed up with mine and I kind of like the look of the uh, copper rivets better anyway. So I think these are going to look a little more on brand for me. You do need a few more things to use copper rivets than you do for the double caps. One, obviously, you need your rivets and burrs. These are number nines with a three quarter inch shaft. They come with a little burr, it's like a washer. You'll also need a rivet setter. You'll need some kind of nipper or plier or something to cut the end of the shaft off after the uh, burr has been put on. And you'll need a ball peen hammer. Now something else that would be helpful would be an anvil or a piece of granite or something solid to do this on top of. When I was in Home Depot today, I asked two different salespeople if they sold anvils there and neither of them knew what an anvil was. So I'm going to kind of make a janky anvil. My table here is actually pretty solid, so I'm just going to put a piece of metal down to do this on top of until I have a piece of granite or an anvil. All right, so first thing I'm going to do here is I just got my leather. I just grabbed a couple scraps. And I'm just going to use one of these things to punch a hole in it. There we go. We're gonna take the post part of the rivet. There, we run it through. And then what you do is, there's the rivet. We have this burr, just kinda just looks like a washer. So this goes on top of this, like that. And then you just take this rivet setter thing. It goes on top here. There's a hole inside and you hammer it down till this is flush. You snip that off. And then there's a doming tool as well as we're going to peen it a little bit with the ball peen hammer. Okay. So here's my makeshift anvil. The corner post of my table is really strong right here. So what I've done is I've just clamped down a square that should be strong enough to do this and then I will get an anvil of, or a piece of granite eventually I will just talk to someone that actually knows what it is next time so here is a piece of leather with the rivet through and the burr on top I'm gonna put that there 
Here is the tool for setting it. You can see it has the doming side and then the hole to put the burr down on it. And I think I'll just use my normal maul for this. It shouldn't, uh, should be plenty. So let's see here. Seems like that's on. Maybe I'll give it one more hit. Yeah, that's on there pretty solid. So now what we'll do is take these things and we'll just snip a bit off. Now I think what we do is take the doming tool and we just kind of mushroom that out around the burr. Then we take this thing All right, that was for sure interesting. Uh, it came out pretty rough, but this thing is gonna last. Like this is not like the uh, double cap, so I can really pull on this. And that's on there forever, I think. Uh, here's what it ended up looking like. Pretty rough, but there's uh, <laughs> a few takeaways here. Number one, I got this freaking Husky brand hammer from Home Depot and it's covered in this like weird uh, plasticky finish and it's not like plastic that I just forgot to take off it's just a weird coating which I don't know why you'd put it on a hammer so my first few strikes I got this like weird crap all over the leather it just wiped off that was no problem um, the big takeaway here is as hard as I thought that the corner of my desk was you need the anvil or granite uh i ended up just finishing peening this thing off on the floor uh, it's concrete down here so that was good enough for me uh i'm still gonna get the anvil or granite because i don't feel like crawling around on the floor every time i want to do a rivet or two <laughs> another takeaway was i got this tool from tandy with the uh, rivets and for setting them it worked just fine but i noticed the doming tool here it actually has like little circles where it was, I guess it was CNC'd out maybe, or uh, however they made that circle, but there's like some finishing marks. It's not polished at all. So you either need to buy a better one that's polished or you need to polish that yourself, which is what I'll probably do since I have it now. But all in all, pretty easy. I mean, it's set. I actually kind of like the hammered finish that I got on there um probably could do it a little bit cleaner but i'm happy with that for my first try i would definitely recommend uh copper rivets like i said these things are unreal strong like i'm pulling just about as hard as i can and uh that's really on there and i can often pull a double cap rivet off myself without uh, any tools or anything like that which again it could be uh, just that I got a cheap Amazon kit of double cap rivets but this just looks stronger um, and definitely feels stronger please don't forget to like my video or uh, if you have any questions leave them down below in the comments I do get back to everybody so if there's something you needed to know then uh, let me know and I'll uh, do my best to help you out if you're a beginner leather worker and need a few tips, I will link my beginner leather worker playlist down below or I'll put a link up here as well. Uh, there should be something in there that'll be able to help you out and get started. I kind of make videos based on uh, questions I had when I first started. So there should definitely be something of value there. 
And thanks for watching this one. I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks.